figuring all this stuff out. I'm not too sure if this thing is going to crawl on my shoulder and sit here or what? What's up? What's up, buddy? like that. It's a little fuzzy one. If you water it, does it multiply like a gremlin or what? I don't know. We could see if it does. Okay. Is that you? Yeah, that is me. Sorry about that. That's okay. Do it. No. We'll get that one later. <laughs> Hello, this is Joyce Chow for MBN and News Video Web. And we are here in Long Beach, of course, with the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach with Reese Mellon. Reese, I don't know, you made all these records between you and Sam. Drifting, it's never been the same. Yeah, you know, it's exciting to, to be a part of the sport and, and to be involved in something that you're passionate about. I love driving this way, pushing the envelope of, of vehicle dynamics um, and challenging a course like Long Beach here that has no threshold for for mistakes, scraping the car against the walls every lap. It's, it puts on a great show for the fans and it's, every time you run the car, especially the new Hyundai Genesis Coupe, I'm, I'm excited for every lap. Well, I have to ask about that because, you know, the Hyundai Genesis is a coupe. It's got so many accolades and so much attention. How is it to drive it during the race? You know, fantastic. We, um, we're proud to say that we're one of the only few cars that is still using the, the engine and chassis package as they deliver. There's a lot of uh, Nissans out there. As they deliver from the manufacturers? Yep, so we have the Genesis Coupe chassis and we have the 3.8 litre um, Hyundai Lambda V6 engine that the car comes with. There's Scions out there running Toyota Craftsman truck engines, there's Dodge Char Chargers running uh, NASCAR engines, there's 350Zs out there running Nissan Titan V8 truck engines, and we're running the same engine that our chassis comes with. It's turbocharged, it's a little bit <laughs> it's bigger a little displacement, bit different than the but, but it is what the car comes with, and, and that's probably a credit to the balance of the car and, and why it's working so well. So basically, if someone bought a Hyundai Genesis, it's not quite the same, but pretty similar to what you're driving. Pretty much exactly the same. Our suspension arms, due to the rules, are all identical. Obviously, with the more horsepower we're running, we're running a different transmission and a different rear tri uh, differential. But we have to address those pieces because you know stock parts are good, but they will break when you give them 650 horsepower. Uh, yeah, they would do that, wouldn't they? Now the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach, that's a unique race that everybody always seems to look forward to. What's your favorite part about the race here? Wow, you know, I've been down here in many different facets of involvement. I've run 2005, I ran the um, pro celebrity race as a pro driver. I uh, had a great experience down here. Um, Tuesday this past week, I, I did media press rides in, in one of the, the uh, Toyota Camrys, which was a blast running the whole course. Um, you know, we're here involved with, with our manufacturers and our supporters with Red Bull and Hyundai and Toyo uh, running the drift series, but you know, I bite my nails off every time I come down here and see this full course, and I can't run the full course. <laughs> oh, that's the frustrating part, isn't it? <laughs> maybe in the future. Oh, maybe they'll change that for drifting. That'd be nice. Ooh. And then, oh, actually, there's so many questions I want to ask you, of course, because not only do you do drifting, Oh, actually, I guess I should stick with race stuff. <laughs> That's right. But, but, okay, on this race, how do you feel going into this one? Uh, you know, we're, we're really excited for the start of the championship. Um, you know, finishing first, um, I'm sorry, finishing first in qualifying, um, finishing second in the competition, it's really set up our championship for the remainder of the season. So we're, we're looking forward to the rest of the series for sure. But he's ready to be first. <laughs> Aren't yes, you? I am. You know, a manufacturer always loves a win. Um, when you have Ford Racing and Hyundai uh, competing in two cars that are in a very similar class, the Ford Mustang 5.0 V8 That's a great car. Um, versus the 3.8 liter V6 Hyundai, those cars are being compared as street cars all the time and now they were racing for the, for the finals. We had the car to beat, driver made a mistake. Hopefully that won't happen for the rest of the season. Now, one of the things that you also do, just besides race, is you also do stunt car driving. I do. Yep. Um, so, what are you working on now? No, well, actually, that's that's not the truth. I actually just got a call uh, two days ago from the director for um, he produced uh, or directed Talladega Nights. Um, oh yeah. And uh, is now going to be involved with Fast and the Furious Five and I've uh, been asked to put together a driving team to do Fast and the Furious 5. So we'll be working on that this summer. Uh, excited to be about uh, part of that. 
and we just announced this morning that we're going after the overall world. <laughs> <laughs> very exciting announcement on this it is. that we're uh, going after the overall world record up Pikes Peak this year. Are you really? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah. Okay, now Reese, one last question is, what would you want to know, oh boy, what would you want to know about Drifty if you were not a drifter but a fan? Um, you know, I think the, the biggest question asked to the drivers is, how do you get involved? Um, how do you get sponsors? And you know, a lot of fans come in to the drifting community, and they see the established drivers, and they see them out there, and you know, they personally might have goals or aspirations to be a driver. Um, and, and it's easy to look at what we have today, but if you dissect what we've done in the past, you know, I had eight years of being a privateer. Um, and a lot of that time was spent driving a junkie car, getting experience, spending all my money on gas and tires, not trying to put a cool turbocharger in it or paint it really cool because I knew I was going to wreck it. And um, that's really the path that you need to to pursue if you're uh, passionate about the sport. You know, spend your money on gas and tires and, and gain experience. Come out to these sanctioned events and and show show what you're capable of. Yeah, I know we're getting ready to leave, but where can people catch up with you on the internet? I have a um, couple of websites: reesmillen.com and rmrproducts.com is my company. Uh, we have live webcam on there. You can see the building of the cars as happening in the shop and then we also sell all of our apparel all of our products that we support for the aftermarket industry. Thank you very much.